biceps femoris, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, popliteus. We're going to cover those muscles. But if you're just kind of just vague and going like this on the surface, it's not going to help anybody. It's going to waste everybody's time and mislead you potentially. And it might be that certain parts of the muscle are, have the most exquisite type of tenderness. And with a human, that's what we can target. But nowadays, if you've ever seen the trigger point diagrams that have little annotations, whether it's a black X, a white X, or a little star, or some kind of thing that says, well, this trigger point produces this kind of referred pain, that's actually gone out of vogue because the people that are now looking at trigger point pathology and writing about it and have taken up the mantle after Travell and Simons, um, you know, have passed on. But, um, but they're seeing, you know, when Janet Travell and her colleagues were identifying the referred pain patterns from pressing one of these zones in the 1950s and, and then subsequent decades, they, they weren't, they didn't have the time, they were pioneers. And so they didn't have algometers and, and objective measurements to identify, okay, which is more tender, which is less tender. They just kind of mapped it out based on the people that they looked at and the, the diagrams with the X's, those are from their collective observations. But nowadays, the feeling is that you really do have to palpate the entire muscle from attachment to attachment in order to ascertain whether there is a presence of a referred pain or a trigger point. Uh, referred pain will be subjective on the individual, but you can watch them. You can watch them blink, yawn, lick their lips, turn at you, give you stink eye, all these different things. And so it really behooves you to be anatomically aware, have a 3D representation of the musculature of your patient in your mind so that you're not just palpating aimlessly, going, oh, 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 okay, you know, that you can understand whether it's the shoulder, the elbow, or the stifle, or the hip, or whatever, that, okay, here are the quads. I'm going to palpate them in a certain way because I'm going cross fiber for the quadriceps, and there's four of them, so I know which ones I'm going to examine and where they are.